in this section, you're going to describe the excellence of your team. So this is going to be a bit more high level. So you're not going to describe all the team members. It's going to be a little more of a summary. So for example, at first you should describe how big is your team. Full-time employees is FTE or full-time employee equivalents. This is going to give them a number to understand who is actually hired by the company. So let's say you have 10.5 full-time employee equivalents. This means you have 10 people that are full-time and one person who is working half-time or any Thing in between it can also be that you have five people who work half time and then you have more people working full time but it's good to mention the full time employee number but also the extended team so you can say that we have a team of 25 members out of this it's 10 full time employees but we also have another 10 freelancers who are very intimately working with the project so these are not one off project working freelancers they are working for the company this is a full time job but because of your finances and because you can't really predict how it's going to look like in the next six months you haven't been able to hire them yet but you're going to hire them in the future so as you see there are two things there's the team which is everybody involved in the project which is going to include contractors freelancers maybe people who work for free maybe co-founders who are not paid at all at this point but they have been promised equity or maybe they already have equity so these are all your team members and then you also say the full-time employees because now the evaluators have a snapshot now they understand okay two full-time employees but there's a very big extended team working on this and of course these are the future hiring positions because you're going to hire under the ERC accelerator anyway so of course if you can say that we have an extended team of 12 people and a majority of these we are going to hire as soon as we have the financing that's perfect because now the evaluators don't have to worry about you hiring people quick you already have the people you just can't pay them at the moment but then you highlight why they are excellent so you're talking about their accomplishment their background you really try to highlight that they they are excellent at what they're doing. So this is going to depend on the size of your team. So for example, what I usually like to do if it's a very small team and I can just talk about five to six people, I'm going to list a profile for every person. So it's very clear that these people are really good at what they do. Let's say the chief product officer has extensive experience in scaling productions. Maybe this person has worked for Audi or some car manufacturers and they have overseen the scaling of the car model production. And then maybe you talk about your CSO the chief scientific officer maybe you can say that they have a phd and a postdoc in this particular field so they are the absolute experts they've published 20 papers on the subject they are pioneers in the field of solid state batteries or sodium batteries really try to highlight what makes them great and sometimes you have to dig deep because you have to see okay what was their previous employment have they published anything have they shown signs of success you want to brag about your team members you want to show that everybody involved in your project is an expert at what they do you don't have to go overboard so for example if you have a designer on board you don't have to show that they have invented design this wouldn't make sense but if it's a very scientific project makes a lot of sense to talk about that someone who is handling production makes a lot of sense to talk about their experience in scaling production developing production so you look at past jobs past affiliations anything that your team members or staff members have been involved in if you have a very large team of 100 employees then you can summarize so for example you can still talk about the most senior people let's say cto csl cso you can give a profile for each of them because they're very key in the company but then you can also very broadly talk about your sales and marketing department and about your manufacturing department about your supply management department and then you can say that we have five employees in the supply management department who are experts in setting up and managing complex value chains they have worked for past companies such as and then you can just list them out so it just has to sound impressive so you can look at your team and you can see what exactly do you want to highlight here? There's going to be a section on diversity and gender balance separate from this one, but it makes sense to also have a side note on that. For example, if you say that we have an expert team, then you can say we have an expert diverse team. If you're talking about we have a sales and marketing department, then you can say that we have a sales and marketing department, including expert female staff, well gender balanced something like that it's always good to throw it in because there's literally questions that the evaluators have to look for about the gender and diversity so there's going to be a separate section but it's a good idea to add it in when you already mention your team and if you're a company that has mostly male staff which is not uncommon when it comes to let's say very engineering heavy or very physics heavy companies but let's say you don't have a lot of expert female staff at this moment or any female staff or team members then it can always say that we have a 
strong commitment to increase diversity and so on in certain fields. But if you are in that position where a company is mostly male, then I would actually not mention that here at all. Then I wouldn't talk about gender balance, but I would talk about diversity. I would talk about different backgrounds, different ethnicities, you having made a commitment to having a very diverse company. So you just decide what is good here.